if you're really committed to being a racist in this country, you can't unsee what I'm about to show you. You might want to start checking Amazons for blankets because this gas furnace behind me, you don't get to have one of those either because that was invented by a black woman named Alice Parker around 1920. She received a patent on it. Yeah, that's how we stay warm today. I mean, if you love potato chips, they got to go because a man named George Crumb, a chef in New York, had sent french fries out with a meal and a customer complained. So what did Mr. Crumb do? He sliced potatoes so thin, fried them up, dumped a bunch of salt on them, and sent them out. And that is the American delight of potato chips. They got to go. I mean, here in the bathroom, Lada Newman patented the first hairbrush with synthetic bristles in 1898. And she's just the third black American woman to ever receive a patent. Now, I know this isn't going to affect those skinheads very much. In 1892, George Sampson of Dayton, Ohio, received patent number 476,416 for what is the forerunner of the modern dryer we use today. It's going to suck dry on your clothes outside. In the late 1880s, Samuel Scottron of Pennsylvania patented the curtain rod. Ooh, that's going to piss off some white girls. It's going to be really hard to plan racist rallies without a color monitor. Invented by Mark Dean, an engineer at IBM, he is also on three of the original nine patents of the IBM PC that came out in 1981. Did you know in 1897, Albert Crowell in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, developed the mechanized ice cream scoop. You know, it goes click, click, that separates the ice cream from the spoon, changing the way ice cream is served. And if you're racist and an ice cream lover, it's going to get worse. I told you it's going to get worse. Augustus Jackson, the father of ice cream, pioneered many of the methods we have today to enjoy ice cream, including the way we salt it. Another thing about being a racist, you're gonna to have to give up the freezer and frozen foods because Frederick McKinley Jones of Ohio who was orphaned at nine years old with a sixth grade education, a young biracial boy grew up to invent Thermo King, which is the reason why we have frozen foods that are shipped and stored in stores and our homes. You gotta give up ice cream and frozen pieces. <laughs> so if you still wanna be a racist, there are some things you're going to need to purge from your life. If you would, just put it out on the curb. I'll send some trucks around to pick it up, and we'll go give it to real Americans who really need it. Have a great day.